think we should stand these on end too. Yeah. I think they just stack a little better. I know he's done like smaller donations, but this one's pretty big. Most things we've helped with before have been food donations. This is the first time where it's more more hands-on. Do a good deed now and, and hopefully somebody's gonna repay that back later when we need it because someday we're gonna need help. So that's kind of what the farming community does. We hopefully uh, help one another out, so. Bye. Bye. Drive safe. Bye. I will. Love you. It's gonna take us about nine hours to get down. Just trying to help feed some cattle down there. Oh, we're just kind of from a small community, a lot of small family farms. Um, we were probably an inch of rain away from being in the same scenario they were, and fortunately we, we weren't. It's pretty humbling also, because we actually have a shortage of hay at home. And I know it's not, not a whole lot, it's just a couple loads of hay, but uh, there's uh, a lot of other people that are giving them support too, so a little here and a little there ends up being something big. We're in survival mode right now. Those calves get cold and wet and they're, they're fighting, you know, stress on the calves, stress on the cows. Those cows started to abort. Those cattle standing in water and I mean, they, they, cattle eventually have to lay down. It was just more than they could take finally at the end of this long season. It hit home, I mean, it's, it's right close. I mean, my neighbor just, just west of me, like I say, lost 70-some lost pairs, cow-calf pairs, just gone. It was a long, hard winter, and shoot, a lot of hay disappeared, washed out or got ruined, and still scrambling to find feed. First thing? Dean. Dean. You got a whole mixed bag of stuff. I, you got can, I can tell. Grass, that. alfalfa. We're not, we're not picky. How far did this hay come from? 800 miles? 750. somebody to take the initiative and the funds out of their own pockets and also their means of survival and just offer it to a stranger is just pretty incredible. Never handled so many square bales with so much help before in my life. <laughs> We've seen things that we hope we never see at home. Then again, we saw people unbelievably uh, caring and, and willing. It's just that kind of community a neighbor helping a neighbor. I'm surprised the water's receded as much as it has. I talked to Dean like I've known him for 10 years. And we met for 10 minutes. They lost another house over between uh, Metagrove and Tilden this week. Oh, and well, I sure appreciate everything you guys done. You betcha. Thanks for everything. You bet. Guys, have a safe ride back to back north. And God, that's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Ready? <laughs> Obviously we won't ever forget what we did down here, but that handshake, that farmer handshake, that is something that you, know, you can't, uh, can't get out of your, your mind. Next time we'll visit without hay, how about that? Huh? You know, that On a be, good note. <laughs> that'd be good, that'd be good. Thanks again, guys. You bet, take care. I guess I don't even have the words. But I just count myself pretty fortunate. Just that. They're just the best. 
you need something in there. 